So now it's me, Adriana from the present. What you're about to see is my experience with bed bugs, really. It's a topic that I've always wanted to talk about because when I first started to have this problem a year ago, I didn't find any information on YouTube and I didn't know if it was my fault, if my house was dirty or if I was doing something wrong and that led to having bed bugs or not but I found out that that is not the case and sometimes it just happens. You can just bring them from outside randomly without you realizing and then they just, it goes crazy from there. But hopefully the information that I'm gonna give you about what the process does and how long it takes, they're gonna help you if you're dealing with bed bugs yourself. And trust me, they, you can get rid of them. I've heard people saying that you have to move because otherwise you cannot get rid of them or you have to throw away all the furniture. And yes, if it's a really heavy infestation, you have to do that. And it's easier actually to do that than to pay for treatment. But if it's just a mild infestation like we've had, it wasn't very big, then uh, you'll be fine with treatments. So let's go into the footage now. <laughs> So I have a list here with me and I've wrote down the most important thing that the uh, pest exterminators, I think, uh, gave us to do before they come. So there's quite a, a lot actually to do before they come. So we have to remove any pets from the property. So we'll have to see what we do with Simba because we don't even have like a carrying thingy, like a carrier cage, uh, but we'll probably just stay with him in the office that my landlord provided us with to leave our stuff. Uh, then you have to hoover the affected areas. So for us, that is only the bed. That's mostly where I've seen them. Then you have to empty the wardrobes, which is gonna be a, ba a pain because apart from that wardrobe, we have this as well. So I think I'm just gonna move these ones with the whole rack. Then we have the, to wash the bedding on high heat. So I've just put a wash on the washing machine and I'm gonna wash all the bedding and then put it in garbage bags and seal it properly so that they won't go there. Uh, then you can't leave anything on the floor. So I'll have to sweep the floors and remove all the stuff. Pull away furniture and bag up all your miscellaneous items. So let's start on this list. I had so many things to do today. I was planning to film a video. I was planning to edit uh, at least one video, but now I need to do this because tomorrow is gonna be a wasted day. Let's just get going. So I've removed all my bedding that was initially in this sofa and I've already put a wash on the washing machine with some of the bedding. The thing is, I used a super short cycle and then I just put them on drying for 30 minutes because I read that that should be enough to kill them if they would be there, but I haven't seen them in the sheets. I'll just do it to be sure. I don't want to do it and then have bed bugs reappearing again. And that's a already made garbage bag that I previously washed and dried, so it should be fine. I'm just gonna do that with all of our bedding and let me just change the camera yeah so i'm just gonna do that with all of our bedding and now actually until this wash is done i'm just gonna go and wash my hair because i was supposed to do it today or tomorrow morning but tomorrow is gonna be a hectic day so i'm just gonna do it now and then i just have to pile up all the stuff that are on the floor it's gonna be fun so I've just gone out of the shower and I put my laundry there, but the thing is, I told you I will put it on a super short cycle. I did not realize that this washing machine had a drying only option, so that uh, sheets are now wet. They're not damp, but, or is wet more watery than damp? Anyways. They are not completely soaked, they're a bit damp, but uh, I now put another wash in just a drying cycle because duh, that's what I wanted to do from the beginning. I just got my salad. This is a sweet and spicy plantain salad with mango, red peppers, chili. It's so good. I found it at Avant Garden. I will link the recipe down below, but now 
I'm just gonna eat, let my hair dry a bit, and then get on with everything else that I need to do. So I've eaten, and uh, now the other wash load is done as well. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on here my laptop and I'm gonna watch some Netflix while just gathering around the house everything that I need to put in the loft and everything that I will need to put in the other room downstairs that won't be treated. And I'm gonna basically gather all the small things and put them on this side and on top of the fridge as well so that they will have space to walk around the rooms because they need to have uh, access to the... how is that called? There, to that side of the flat like everything everywhere and just spray everything so yeah uh, that will be it for now I'm just gonna gather around and I'll show you what I have so an hour later and this is what I've gathered from around the house this is how this side of the house looks like these are all the duvets and pillows that I have to dry I have quite a lot of them because there was one here and we had two duvets as well and we didn't throw any out but I'm guessing I'm gonna throw one out I mean I'm gonna donate it to charity if it's possible but let me show you that's the state of the sofa because I've been throwing random stuff in there I've tried to empty the plants and put them at the top and I've also put stuff on this little drawer I've put some stuff on top of the wardrobe and I've gathered my plants in this corner. Um, today, I mean tonight, when my boyfriend comes home from work, I'll probably have to empty the whole wardrobe that I've just organized a few days ago. And now I'll have to reorganize again because I love that. And then I'll have to move them this day in the morning. We'll have to... Uh, bring all the furniture in the middle of the room so they have space to work around the uh, edges of the room. I cannot move this one because it's fixed in the wall as well as the wardrobe that's fixed in the wall. So is, there isn't any way of moving that one. Uh, I also found out I have a lot of hangers. So if you know what I'm supposed to do with that many hangers, I have more in the loft as well. But I have no idea where to give them because charity won't accept them. And yeah, tomorrow I'll just have to move the furniture in the middle like I did with that table. We had a table. I don't know how to show you. Okay, we had a table there that's now here. And I'm just gonna move them in the morning because they'll come quite in at an odd hour. They'll come around 3 or 4 p.m. So... We will have to move everything in the morning and then we will have to leave the house for four hours while the spray is settling or something so it's gonna be a weird day i'm thinking to go on a date actually with my boyfriend because we haven't been to one of these in a while and we kind of need it but uh we'll see what's happening tomorrow for tonight i am just gonna finish washing these uh, but that is only taking me like 30 seconds once every 30 minutes So I'm gonna put myself a glass of wine or a cocktail and I'm gonna wash wash <laughs> I'm gonna watch the last two episodes of Million pound menu because I've been binge watching that show and I only have one episode and a half left So I'm really curious who's gonna win Excuse my face, but I've been cleaning up for the past two or three hours because the past uh, are gone. It's the next day actually. Last night we slept in the bed and nothing bited me and it was so nice. So so thoughts after the first night. So this is our wardrobe for the moment. It's totally empty. We had to empty everything and nothing smelled which was extremely weird. We were hope like we weren't hoping but we were expecting a strong pesticide smell. Nothing smelled if uh, we didn't know there has been a pest uh, controller coming in, we wouldn't know that something happened. 
and what amazed me was the fact that we had to vacate the room for four hours so he came in he kicked us out he did his job we we went back to lock the door and then we went out for four hours including my cat especially my cat we we kept him away for for six hours actually just to make sure that he will be fine and we had to sleep in the bed but before we we have put any sheets on the on the bed and we we put a mattress back we looked under the bed and there were so many bed bugs that were dead and when i say many i mean i i thought that we had a small infestation but there were around 10 i think dead which was a lot and they were big like they were full-on adults they were dead so i'm super happy i guess they were in the wood of the bed in the small small creeks because that's where they thrive but yeah it was was um very excited in a way to see them that they they won't bite me anymore and i slept in my bed like a baby i haven't slept like that for the longest time because i was usually woken up in the middle of the night to scratch my my bites and to move in the living room to have a bit of rest but i think that's the most important things that i've noticed after one day he's gonna come back in two weeks and then he's gonna come back again in a three month period so that's why i'm not moving anything uh, back to its place and i'm leaving everything in the loft because we're gonna be gone for two weeks and then he's gonna come back again so there's no point I'm done with the bed box treatment and I'm gonna show you the state of my loft because for the past uh, two months I think now it was a bit less than two months we had to put everything in a loft because we had three bed bug treatments so this is how the loft looks like at the moment it's only this area so Apart from this, what you can see here, the rest of the loft is empty because it's not uh, done yet, but it is a whole lot of stuff. And I'm just gonna start putting them down and going through it and I can't wait to throw away a lot of these. excuse my face but as you can see we have way too much stuff and i really want to throw a lot of these away there are still stuff in the loft i'm gonna do a loft declutter with me uh soon now i'm just gonna tackle everything that was bed bug related and we had to put it in a loft so there we had bed stuff like sheets and duvets we have a lot of duvets for some reason and we only use one we don't even change it in winter so that's crazy and we have clothes we have shoes and i have no idea to be honest and i haven't used this stuff in these two months i mean yeah it was locked down so it's not like i actually went anywhere but if i never reached for them i will definitely have a think if i'm gonna keep them or not so that was everything that i've gathered from the past year uh dealing with bed bugs now my conclusion uh one year after that happened is that I am now bed bug free. I have not had seen any bed bugs for the past year uh, since I've started the treatment. Uh, I think we've had around five treatments and why we were extremely lucky because this treatment can get very very expensive very quickly and you need more than two. Uh, but our landlord paid for everything so we didn't have to pay anything. Um, we used fantastic services and there was a guy that we actually became quite friends with because we would see him so often but he was super professional he was very good at what he was doing he was always uh, telling us how many bed bugs he saw or if he saw any or what he would recommend us to do further he was super good so i recommend fantastic services for that if you need them uh, they have an app which is super cool uh, you can order a lot of stuff and services from them. They do like cleaning, fixing, maintenance, everything basically. Uh, it's an app where you can do everything you need for the house. 
and um, yeah, we don't have bed bugs anymore. I am so happy to say that. Um, it's been a tough journey dealing with them because I couldn't sleep basically at all because I would wake up and see them and then I would not be able to go back to sleep. So that was that. <laughs> but everything's fine now and if you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the comments down below because it's been a while and I'm glad I filmed those videos that I showed you when I filmed them because otherwise I would have forgot a lot of the details. So if you have any other questions that I forgot to talk about in the video, please uh, leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with the right information. And I hope this video was useful to you or may I say not because I don't I hope you're not dealing with bed bugs, but if you are, I hope it's useful. So both ways, thank you for watching um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.